What's up everybody? Today we're gonna to be talking about how to get a perfect pitch on your trekking pole tent. All right, so when you're going to set up your trekking pole tent, if it's the first time you've done it, or you're just looking to perfect your pitch, this video is gonna be good for you. So when I go to set up my trekking pole tent, just like any other tent, correct campsite really will make a big difference. So my thing when I get to camp, I look up, I look down, and I look around. I wanna make sure that I'm following the guidelines that are provided by the forest service in the area or whatever, whatever sort of park or area you're camping or backpacking in. The first step will be to lay your tent out as flat as possible. So what I try to do is I try to have a few things ready. I try to know exactly how many stakes I'm gonna need and I put them in my pocket so that I've got them all right there. Number two, I lay out my tent as flat as possible and I make sure that my vestibule doors are zipped. What I found is when I leave it zipped, it creates a much better pitch the first step is going to be to stake out the back two corners. Now typically you're gonna have some sort of guy out point on the back of your tent. Every tent you're gonna be using, most likely you're gonna have some sort of guy out points. And one tip that I have for you, to leave a few inches on your tightening rope rather than pulling it all the way to the end, staking it out, and then trying to grab the teeny tiny end of the rope and you can't get enough tension on it to pull it. So give yourself two, three, four inches and then stake it out. Okay, so now that we've got the back two corners staked out, I try to get this back line as straight as possible when I'm setting up a trekking pole tent. Now we can move to the front, insert the trekking pole, and we'll go from there. So knowing beforehand what the manufacturer recommends for the length of your pole will really simplify your setup. You can make adjustments later on, but it's always good to go with what they suggest to start out. For the Six Moon Designs Lunar Solo, it's a 49 inch length, so let's get that inserted. So typically there's gonna be some sort of pocket in the top, whether it's a reinforced cone or whether, like on this one, they have an actual thick piece of rubber canvas, some sort of material that your trekking pole definitely won't poke through. So you insert that in. Can you leave the sharper tips like this that's on my trekking pole? Yes. The pocket is reinforced to protect against that. So you don't have to bring the little rubber protector. If you wanna take that extra step of precaution, that's up to you. I've never done it and I've never had problem. Okay, so from this point, you can see exactly the shape that is going to make the difference between a perfect pitch and a sloppy pitch. You wanna get as tight of a triangle between the back two stakes and the peak of your tent. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a lot of tension on this peak in order to get a nice tight triangle in the back. And this is the key to a perfect trekking pole pitch. Whether it's a one person or a two person, trying to create tight triangles will make a difference. All right, now that we've got our perfect triangle on the back, we're gonna have our peak guy line in hand with a stake ready. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hold tension on that, double check that your triangle's tight and make any micro adjustments before staking out this main guy line. All trekking poles vestibules are different. So at this point, what I like to do is I like to get whatever type of clip that I have clipped on, tighten it up. Not as tight as I'm gonna have it in the end, but tight enough that it's holding a good shape. Okay, so we've been double checking that we've got tight triangles, that the back two stakes are tight. Now we can stake out the front two stakes. You wanna to try to do your best to follow the lines that come off the tent naturally and try to create 45 degree angles as best as you can. Because 45 degree angles help create a perfect triangle which just ensures that there's more strength to the pitch. If you think about it, what's one of the most lasting and strong shapes? A pyramid or a triangle. So that's why this tent is designed this way because that's the strongest type of structure to hold up when you need it. So now that you've got all of the main points of your tent staked out, on this tent, it takes five stakes to get it held tightly. And there's one additional stake that I add in the back middle. And if I'm expecting that there's going to be a significant risk or a significant chance of having condensation in my tent, I will guy out the head and the foot on this. And just as a quick tip, when guying out the head and the foot end. So a mistake that a lot of people make is that when they use this guy out point, they put this string on and they go directly straight to the ground and this doesn't add any interior space. What you want to do is guy this straight out and either have a trekking pole or a stick, wrap your guy line around and then go down from the stick. So what you're gonna have is a straight out from the tent. You wanna create a 90 degree angle right here to pull this out, go straight to your stick or trekking pole 
and then a 45 degree angle from your stick or your trekking pole. This will give you the most amount of livable space inside the tent. Pulling it straight down doesn't do anything. All right, so is this the perfect pitch with absolutely no flaws? Yep. Just kidding. Obviously, it's never going to be 100% perfect, but if you follow these steps today, and I'll list them very simply, stake out the back two stakes first, then the peak guy out. Hook on your vestibule door and tighten that, not 100% tight, but tighten it enough that it holds good structure. Do the front two stakes, and then any of the additional guy out points that you're going to add. And every single time, you will get a better pitch than the last time. One of the most important things about trekking pole tents is getting practice. Some of the suggestions that I have with this are watch videos and practice before you go on trail. Set it up in your yard, try to set it up in your house and get creative. Whatever you have to do to get practice before you get out on trail will just be that much more beneficial to you. Trekking pole tents are awesome. They allow us to get ultra light. They allow us to be able to use gear in multiple ways. Trekking poles can be used for hiking and walking, and they can also be used to hold up our tent. In the comments below, let me know which trekking pole tent you use and why you use it. And if you don't use it, let me know why. I think it's great for us to get both sides of the story and know exactly why people do things the way that they do them so that we can figure out and make informed decisions for ourselves and what will be best for our gear loadouts. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. If not already, please subscribe to the channel. Turn on your bell notifications so you're never missing a video from me. And be sure to smash the like button if you found value and drop a comment and let me know what you think of this video below. Again, thanks for taking the time to click on this video and thanks for stopping by.